gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Ali Cuisine. My name is Chef Yvonne Miller. I'd like to firstly thank everybody that tuned into our last episode of Spiny Lobster Tale. And I'd just like to say that we are already approaching the 200,000 plus viewers, and we are very, very excited about that. Today's episode will be featuring the Nassau Grouper, one of the more popular seafood dishes in the Bahamas. The Nassau Grouper can grow up to like almost 45 pounds in weight, and these babies can get like about three to four feet in length. So you only can imagine how immense these fish can look underwater while you're going down snorkeling. There are many ways that the grouper can be prepared in the Bahamas. You could either stew it, boil it, grill it, steam it. But today, I'm going to show you my rendition of the grouper. We're going to have my spin-off of the Bahamian grouper fish and chips. Now our first step to this dish, we're going to make our spicy Heineken lime marinade for the grouper steaks. Now what this recipe calls for is two Heinekens. Don't necessarily have to be cold, it can be room temperature. I'm going to transfer the honey into a bowl. Put in our second hand again. After you transfer your two Heinekens, you're going to use five freshly squeezed limes. Now you want to be sure not to use the concentrated lime juice because it has a tendency to have a real harsh and unflavor, unpleasurable flavor. So you're going to get those freshly squeezed limes inside there. Don't worry about the pulp. All the pulp, you want to get all that in there also. So squeeze it really good. And our last line. Okay. After we have done this, you want to take some fresh chopped cilantro. Give it a nice rough chop. It doesn't have to be too fine. Just want to give it a nice quick rough chop. That's pretty good. Transfer to the bowl. Take one gold pepper, chop that up, and add that to our mixture. Last but not least, we're going to take our seasoning blend. Now, you could put together a simple mix of complete seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, a touch of salt, a little bit of onion flakes. And you can check your flavor profile. You know, some people like a lot of salt, some people don't. I don't recommend too much salt because it is one of the leading causes of hypertension in the Bahamas. So you want to be careful how much salt you put in it. And also the fish tends to absorb salt very easily. So we're going to mix this together with a, mix, with a whisk. Let's add just a touch of salt. One thing you want to be sure to do is taste your mixture, make sure all the flavors are balanced out into it. Oh yeah, it's good. Just add a little bit more seasoning. And after you have made your Anakin lime marinade, you're going to take your group of steaks. Just going to rest them straight inside the, the marinade. So we're going to let these steaks marinate for at least half an hour. And put it to the side and then we're going to come back at this. Now our second phase for our Heineken Lime Marinated Grouper, we're going to make the crust. And this is going to be one of the more flavorful parts of this dish. Now you want to take the same seasoned blend that we use, the garlic powder, the onion powder, complete seasoning, a little touch of salt, maybe some fresh herbs, thyme, cilantro, whatever your favorite is, and we're going to add this to the flour. And you want to add it to the flour because you want to make sure the flavor goes and then absorbs all through the dish. You don't want it just to have the meat seasoned, you want to have the, the flour seasoned. We have a nice flavorful crunch to it. Mix 
this side in. Then you want to take a few eggs, possibly like about five eggs. And with your whisk, you're just going to take it and whisk them. Put it in light. Same process as if you were to do like scrambled eggs. Give them a good whisk. And if you want to, you could add a little more seasoning to that as well. Why not? Let the seasoning go penetrate all the way through the palate. Our third ingredient is going to be the Honey Nut Crunch Cereal, which we're going to use to coat the outside of our group of steaks. Now, what we're going to do with this, we're going to transfer this to the Nutribullet. Now, the Nutribullet is a popular device amongst many females in the Bahamas and around the world, including my mother, to make early morning healthy drinks or a nice healthy drink for lunch. But today, I'm going to cheat and use it to puree and make a powder form out of my Honey Nut Cereal. So it's a pretty easy process. I'm just going to transfer it straight into the, straight into the container. A few scoops in there at a time. Don't want to overfill it. There you go. And then you just simply screw the bottom off. Slap it on the machine. Is that? Wow. And there we have it to a powder form. Now our grouper is about about 10 minutes away from being ready. It's almost fully marinated. So in the meantime, what we're now going to do, we're going to make our homemade tartar sauce and we're also going to make our homemade french fries. Now the tartar sauce is a very basic recipe. So all you need is like about four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Uh, we're going to take like a short cup of relish. I'm going to squeeze a fresh lemon. And just one to two drips of, tar of Tabasco sauce. And you can take your whisk and just whisk them all together. Very basic dressing. Just a little more relish. a little bit more of the seasoning blend that we made earlier just to give it an extra little kick. And there we have our tartar sauce for our fish. And next we're going to cut our homemade fries using fresh Idaho potatoes. So basically you're going to square off your potato and cut them straight down the middle. Make nice, neat, as we would call it in the chef world, batons. Yeah, so that's basically what we're looking for. So I'll walk you through it one more time. Take a full potato and we're going to square it off. straight down the middle. There we go. Now the scraps you don't have necessarily to throw away the scraps. You could also take these and you could fry them as well but for presentation purposes we're going to cut them nice and even. Okay and there we have homemade fries and what you want to be sure to do keep them submerged in water so they don't oxidize and turn brown. Now for the next stage of our grouper dish we're going to work on our edible garnish using the fresh cassava root. Now basically you want to take your mandolin and you're going to slice this paper thin and yes I am wearing purple gloves so this is pretty much what we're looking for right here. paper thin slices and 
you know, these are going to be our cassava chips, which is going to provide the edible crunch and garnish for our grouper dish. Now, what we're now going to do with these, we're going to take them and transfer it to our portable deep fat fryer. Put them in one by one. Okay, now we can now remove our cassava chips, and as you can see, golden brown. Beautiful. You don't want them to go any darker than that. Beautiful. Any darker than this, then you will start to taste more of the bitter side of the cassava. That's not what we want. And this is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, our french fries are now done. Oh, and as you can see, they are gorgeous. Nice, thick, homemade french fries. And it's going to be an excellent complement to our grouper dish. Now, as you take them out of the oil, while they're still a little moist, just take a little bit of seasoning and just drizzle it right over it. And you want to do it while it's still moist, so the seasoning can stick to the oil and hug on the fry. Look, some beautiful seasoned fries. And there you go. And the moment of truth. We're going to now, our grouper has now been marinating for slightly over half an hour. So as you can see, the flavors have now fully absorbed all in this fish. So now we're going to take our fish and we're going to put it in our batter. Now we're going to first dip it in our seasoned flour. Make sure I get it covered all around. All that flavor in there. Don't want to miss any spots. I can promise you this is going to be magnificent when this is done. And then from the flour, we transfer to our seasoned egg. From the egg, we go to our honey nut cereal. You want to make sure it gets crusted nicely all around, all the edges. Shake off the excess. And this is what we're looking for. We're going to gently nest it right inside the oil. And we're going to let these fillet, get these steaks fry for approximately 15 minutes. And now we have arrived at the final leg of our gourmet grouper meal. As you can see we have already started to assemble the plate with our homemade tartar sauce, our lemon, and just a few dollops of my signature barbecue sauce. Uh, what I'm now going to do, I take a piece of avocado, which is a favorite amongst many Bahamians, and I'm going to make a simple fan out of it to accompany the dish, and also work as a garnish as well. You want to cut out some of the excess remnants of the seed, gently peel it. Very delicate with it. Okay, and basically what you're going to do, you're pretty much just going to take your knife and just make an incision all the way down. There we go. And you're going to gently lift this up and rest this right in the corner of your plate. There we go. Now we're going to take our homemade fries and assemble them directly in the center. I'm 
Looks like you're building a little fry pyramid. And then we're going to now assemble our crusted grouper. And place it neatly, and gently on top. And our last component of the dish, our edible garnish, the cassava, you're just going to insert it right in the groove of your fry and rest it along your fish. There you go. And here's our finished product of our Heineken spicy lime marinated grouper fillet. Wow, it's been another amazing show. And I'd like to thank each and everybody for tuning in. But let me introduce you to a perfect complement to this meal, the Verde White Wine, which will bring in all the flavors of this meal and tantalize the palate. For our lager lovers, we also have the Calic Light, that will also be a very excellent pairing with this particular dish. And last but not least, we have our signature barbecue sauce. Now you can feel free to contact us at our contact information below in order to purchase this product. I guarantee you will not be disappointed by it. Once again, we'd like to thank all of our supporters on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and WhatsApp. And we look forward to seeing everybody for our next episode.